today I stand here to ask you tons of questions. I want to start with this. What gender do you define yourself as? Mm. What about these people? Now, this is what we used to think the beauty was referring to woman was. Do you see any significant difference between them? Perhaps genders? Surprisingly, these people used to be different genders. They were born biologically as a man, but changed their gender afterwards. Yes, they are what we normally call this trans, the transgender people. Now, can you recognize any difference? Do you now think that they cannot represent the beauty as woman just like these people? What is the gender in the first place? I know this is a very sensitive topic to discuss, but since it is an issue which everyone faces in any place of the world, I would want you guys to get to think about it within yourself with my talk. Oxford Dictionary defines gender as either of the two sexes, male or female, and adds, especially when considered with reference to social and cultural differences rather than biological ones. Based on this definition, these people are supposed to be considered as female, aren't they? But are we actually accepting them as female? So, transgender is a term used to describe people whose gender identity, meaning a personal sense of being a man or woman, differs from the sex they are actually assigned at birth. Simply, they think of a biological man actually having an identity of a woman, and vice versa. You might think that this is not right and wrong. In fact, a lot of people actually have that mindset today, these days. But think about it. Are they actually different beings? Are there clear reasons for them to actually be differentiated from others? Because transgender people are not that unique or rare, as most people think. The population of them are approximately 1.4 million just in the United States, which is about 0.5 to 0.6% of the whole U.S. population. Despite it doesn't reach 1% of the population, 1.4 million is a huge group of people. And the real problem is, are these 1.4 million people living an ordinary life just like others? Now, have a, now let's have a look at the survey results. This is the U.S. Transgender Survey the largest survey ever devoted to the lives and experiences of trans people of 28,000 years ago. The result shows, first, 29% um, of transgender people live in poverty, compared to 14% of the general population. And 30% of transgender identities report being homeless at some point in their lives, with 12% saying within it was within 12 past 12 months. Transgender people experience unemployment at three times the rate of the general population. And 30% of transgender people report being fired, being fired, denied a promotion, or experiencing experiencing mistreatment in the workplace due to their gender identity in the past 12 months. 30% of transgender people experience mis mistreatment in the past year in the public accommodation, including 14% who were denied equal service, 24% who were verbally harassed, and 2% who were physically attacked because they were just transgender. And then, lastly, 40% of respondents respond reported attempting suicide in the lifetime, nearly nine times their attempted rate attempted suicide rate in the U.S., which is 4.6%. So, just as all of this survey result implies, transgender people around the world have to face numerous inequalities just because of the fact that they are different from others. In some occasions, they are not even recognized or considered as their identified gender or even neither of them. It is, is it fair to let them or even make them live these lives? I personally would answer no to that question. So let's go back to the question I asked you at first. What gender do you define yourself as? Now, everyone knows that the question is wrong. Gender is not what you define. It is what you believe to be and what you are. 
Transgender identities are also one part of us, and there are no reasons for us to look at them with different things as others. Both my questions have got you to think more about the next step you would take to make everyone equal. Thank you.